party for? Steve always laughed at his terrible racist jokes. Yeah, it's one of the reasons. I guess we should talk about what to do with this five grand. How about a trip? Maybe to New York. I've always wanted to try a calzone. Calzone? It's New York City, baby. I'm getting a turkey sandwich. A trip? Sure, it was fun at the time. But look at us now. We have nothing to show for it. We have all the great family memories. Memories are useless. What can I do with memories? Write a memoir? You think I'm the new Chelsea Handler? Well, I'm not. There's only one Chelsea Handler, and she's a goddess. Dad. We need those leather jackets if we are... ...to go to New York. Okay, you guys grab the jackets. I'm gonna go and talk to a travel agent and get us a sweet deal. I want to book a trip to New York. All right. When would you like to fly out? Fly? Who am I, the CEO of Amazon? I want to say John or Josh something. How much will you charge me if I walk there? Um, nothing. Physically escort you places. Today's your lucky day because I'm about to offer you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm offering you the North American rights to the off-Broadway show, Stomp, all for the low price of... I will pay whatever you want. <laughs> Where'd you go? Costco search and rescue, look for Can you hear my news? Ow! What is he doing? Mama, make him stop! Stan, you're upsetting the children! Fine. Does anyone in this family like Broadway? Really, Dad? We're going to Broadway? Nope. Broadway is coming to us. What'd you say, Big Daddy? I used the vacation money to buy its rhythms, acrobatics, pantomime, and brooms. Here, watch this. voted for a vacation. This is so much better than a vacation. We're gonna make buttloads of money and then you can buy all the memories you want. You, sir, have broken a buttload of order of business will be to fetch you some sorbet in the shape of a penis. What? Why? I'm trying to show initiative. I thought you'd be happy. Oh, please don't tell me you're one of those bosses who can never be happy. <laughs> Hideki, first thing. Rock and Ronnie here with Stan Smith, the man who's given this whole town a terrible case of stomp fever. Stan, people are going bonkers waiting for your show to open. Let's take some callers. I love stomp, and I was sadly out of town for the audition process, so I'd like to audition now. Stomp, stomps! What do you say we give some tickets away at the top of the hour? Wish we could, but the show's all sold out. Why are you here promoting the show if it's totally sold out? Why don't you ever play Toad the Wet Sprocket? Because Toad slept with my wife, Stan. Awkward! PBS saw me shoplift him, but nobody said nothing! My weed dealer let me play with his tarantula. Principal Lewis showed up in my math class and presented me with an old bowling trophy. It was pretty cool. He was sweating pretty bad. For Mr. Stomp and his family, compliments of the chef. Wow. You were right, so, so right, and we were oh so wrong. You are smart, and we are dumb, that's why we sing this song. We're idiots. <laughs> Opening night. Feel the electricity. How's my cast? To tell you the truth, we're a little nervous, Stan. We haven't rehearsed at all. In fact, we never even met the director. Director? What do you think this is, a movie? You didn't hire a director? All the direction you need is right there in the title. Stomp. Just go out there. What the frick is this? <laughs> Gotta get the hell out of here. Well, bad news. The angry mob destroyed my SUV. But good. Oh, look at that. Our house is on fire. 
three weeks on the road and we're broke. This Luna bar is our last meal until we start eating the leather jackets. Never! Never! Never. Look, I'm sorry, guys, but this is what you wanted, right? We're making memories. Remember? Nice leather jackets. Big fan. License and registration? Sir, this isn't your registration. It's the North American rights to stomp? You should do a show here. Sorry, but our theater days are behind us. He's kidding. We're still doing stomp, and we're bringing it to your town. So this time, we'll do it right. You ripped us off! <laughs> what the hell? I thought we were going to do stomp for real this time. We were going to, but it just seemed like a whole lot of work. So, while you were out selling tickets, we were drinking 40s and getting super into tetherball. I started out on doing this. Ripping people off? Won't that make us bad people? No, we're tricking them. And in my experience, people love being tricked. Hey, Jeff, what's that over there? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> See? Well, I'm sold, and I'm a famously tough sell. Two. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to buy a ticket to find out. Surprise! It's me, Haley! Who the hell is Haley? The gal with the stop tickets! <laughs> Oh, that's a gimme. Why don't you celebrate? And those are expensive golf clubs. You can't bang them around like some problem child, too. Or can you? Here's 50 bucks. And you just bought yourself a ticket to stop. But I was only paying for the blow. That was free. <laughs> Friends up a little pressed ham. Oh, yeah, they're hungry for it, Steve. Roger, I told you to go to the gas station today. I did, but there were some college kids there, and I wanted to impress them, and I couldn't think of anything. Guys, th th this ham's getting overcooked. You can pull up your pants at any time. Go, go! <sighs> Look at me. I got my son's ass against my window, my alien's dick in my gas tank, and nothing but the open road in front of me. And here... Morons of the farts. What a way with words. Give me some of that silver tongue. Mm. Yeah, French him, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's skipping out again. Sorry, we don't remember you. We've swindled a lot of people. Funny. Let's see how funny you are with my gun in your mouth. That doesn't change the fact that you guys are in deep trouble. If you want your money back, sorry, we spent all of it to have young MC play at Klaus's birthday party. It was freezing out, but for some reason he wore shorts. He said he wasn't cold, but he had goosebumps all over his legs. That's all I can remember. Well, if we can't get our money, we're getting that show. And it bit. I'm from New York for the show on Broadway. Did you hear that, family? We finally get to go to New York City. Mm, I can almost taste that Times Square turkey. And we got what we wanted, half a show. Good luck in New York! Wait. There's one thing that stands between you and... And Yankees. I'll is red. Francine, Haley, Steve, anyone up for a little Tai Chi in Central P? They all left right after the show. Again? Do you want to hit up Sea Park with me? A kiss? 
<laughs> you stupid idiot! I'm not a ghost, I'm a perverted boy! Morning, Steve. I made a big family breakfast, like old times. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got a joke here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not me. I have brunch plans with that. We were supposed to be at the gallery ages ago. Gallery? Jeff is one of New York's premier underground artists. See ya. On Tuesdays, I play melancholy violin music on a subway platform. Francine, what has happened to us? This family used to be so close. Now the only time we spend together is on stage when we're performing. I hear this window and reporting our neighbors to the FBI. You don't have to be right. You just have to have a phone. They're all happy. Maybe I'm not giving this town a chance. All in oats at the ESPN zone. Shall we have dessert at the M&M store? Is it one of those Sundays again, Diane? Oop, your fibromyalgia medication is ready for pickup. Ah! It's a beautiful painting. Thanks, but I was trying to write a book. I'll never be a novelist! <laughs> Mr. Wolf, I have an idea for a... I'm not. Jeff's... Stan Smith? Yes? I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm Eric Jeremies in the third, president of Broadway. Hi. Buying the North American rights to Stomp was a smart investment. You must be a very happy man. Well, obviously you are. You're sitting here alone on this park bench. But I need your answer tonight. Why? For drama! Hey, where are the brooms? Huh. Are they not where they always are? There's just rakes. Brooms? What the hell are we supposed to do? Brooms were the real stars! I've got to tell you something before you read it in the Village Voice tomorrow. I switched out the brooms. Why would you do such a thing? I know we didn't vote on it, but our family's happiness is too important to leave to democracy. We're miserable here. Maybe, but being miserable and pretending to love living here is just what New Yorkers do. Domino's has better pizza. The last time I was happy was when we were making memories together as a family. And I want to go back to that place. I want to go home too, Dad. Wrong again, numbnuts. nuts. <laughs>